Cody Swindley, Ryan Hopper, and Bjorn Seeliger. And then Texas in lane number four. Chris Staka, Casper Corbo, Alvin Jiang, and Daniel Frieger. Well, Texas had the fastest time in the country until Louisville took that away in the previous heat. They went 3.015. That is now the time to beat. Glasgow down at the bottom has a, just a fabulous backstroke. You saw him get third in the 200 IM. We haven't really seen him do what he's capable of doing. Went from 145 to 140 in the 200 IM. Can he back that up with a great 100 backstroke right now? He is way behind at the halfway point, though. Way behind. He has got a lot of room to make up. He goes 22-3 on the way out. Nice start there for Brendan Burns for, from Indiana. Adam Cheney of Florida at the top, then Brendan Burns of Indiana, Chris Stanko of Texas, and at the bottom, Destin Lasko of Cal. Here goes Lasko now. He's doing it in the back half, that's for sure, but they will not have the lead. They may be fourth, though. They're third, 45-2, 44-8 for Burns, Stanko from Texas, 45 flat. Lasko closed the gap, but waited just a little bit too long. Now, Reese Whitley of Cal in the yellow cap at the bottom. Above him, Casper Corbeau of Texas. Zane back of Indiana in lane number six. And at the top, Dylan Hillis of Florida. If you're looking at the last heat, 135.7 was what Louisville was at the halfway point. And again, Whitley's going to have to do it in the back half. He's probably better in the 200 brush stroke, so you know he's not going to die. He's going to have a good back half. The Corpo from Texas is a fabulous brush stroker, and all three of them now. Look at this. Florida, Texas, and Indiana right there in the mix. Cal is on the outside. Texas takes the lead there. 135-3. Tommy Jim, now the butterfly for Texas. Ryan Hopper in the water for Cal at the bottom, who's a great sprinter. See if he can close the gaps up. Cumber Frankel, the freshman for Indiana, lane number six, two for the top. And at the top, Eric Cruz, a sophomore for Florida. 20 flat for Hopper going out, 20.2 for Jean. Boy, this is going to come down to the end now with Seliger who was second in the 50, and Kruger, who was sixth in the 50, but he's right first in the 100. Cal's back in this. Yes, they are. Hopper with a great leg, passing it off to the 16th Swede, Bjorn Seeliger. Just above him, Daniel Kruger of Texas. The two teams battling for the team title are battling for this win in the 400 medley relay. 43-7 for Ryan Hopper, and this is a great leadoff for Kruger. 19-1, Seldor 19-3. Yeah, Boy, the Kruger of Texas with the lead, and this would be so big for Texas. First, they get those big diving points, and now here, they're going to win the 400 medley relay. Boy, are they back in this meet in a hurry. Yeah, 40 points for first, 34 for second. That's a 12 point swing right there as Kruger and Texas knock off Seeliger and Cal by half a second. Three double zero, 23 for Texas. Forty point seven for Kruger on the end. That is motor and home. 19 flat on the way out. 21.6 plus going out. Here's the breast to fly exchange. Everything looks very safe. In fact, I thought Cal's was a little slow for Hopper for a guy that goes 43.7 on the fly. He put it back in it. He gave him a chance, didn't he? He won the 50 earlier. Went 18 flat on the relay. And then right here, I thought this might be a race, but Kruger proved why he's the fastest hunter freestyler in the nation. He won it going away, and what a moment for Texas in this first session, and they needed every bit of it. Three double zero twenty-three. That is a new American record. A new American record. The Texas David. Longhorns take the 400 medley relay. Oh, California did get second. Okay.
40 points. They'll pick up uh, six points on Cal, who gets 34. Florida finishes. Your top four in the 400 medley relay. Finishing in fourth in 301.52. At the time, it was a full record, Louisville. At the time. For the Cardinals, Mitchell White, Evgeny Somov, Nicholas Albiero, and Haridi Samay. Placing third at 301.51, Florida. For the Gators, Adam Chaney, Dylan Hillis, Eric Friese, and Kieran Smith. Your runner-up relay in 300.73, California. For the Golden Bears, Destin Lasko, Reese Whitley, Ryan Hopper, and Bjorn Seeliger. And your NCAA champions in a pool record time of 300.23, Texas. Chris Staka, Casper Corbeau, Alvin Jang, and Daniel Kruger. Everybody in the venue, let's give it up for our top four, led by your NCAA champions, the Texas Longhorns. Great effort, guys. Chris Staka and his yeah. winning Longhorn teammates join us. You guys have not only that trophy, but also now an American record in the 400 medley relay. How'd you guys do it? Uh, you know, it's been uh, something we've been working for all year. And uh, especially this relay, we've really been thinking about this one. And uh, we got a great, great group of guys here behind me. Uh, and, you know, working together, we got, we got it done. We're really happy about it. You know, this meet has always been about momentum. And so how much motivation in having those divers go one, two, and winning this relay now give you for tomorrow morning in that what is called moving day? Oh, my God, so much. We are so proud of Noah and Jordan uh, for going one, two on that dive. That was incredible. And, uh, you know, we tried to keep that going into the rest of the night. And we're so excited for tomorrow. You guys gonna take those guys out to dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so what's with the gray hat? We got three black and one gray. Why? Um, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, uh, we get to choose what color we want, um, but for the majority of us pick black. I see. Well, they all look nice. Congrats on the win and an American record. Thank you so much. All right, the Texas.